What's up enthusiasts? Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you are or have been celebrating. I hope you celebrated well and spent it with your family, friends, and all of your loved ones. Uh, it is when this video is going up, it's Christmas morning. And uh, I hope if you're celebrating Christmas, you're having a fantastic day. I thought I've got some packages to open and well, it's Christmas morning and why don't we open some packages? Because it, every time you open up a Nerf package, it's kind of like opening up a present, and I absolutely love that. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we get into this, uh, I just want to say thank you. Since we're we're towards the end of the year, and it is Christmas, and, and you know I know Thanksgiving is when you're thankful for things, but I, I like to be thankful as much as I can. And uh, just thank you to each and every one of you for being here and supporting the channel and uh, just watching and hopefully enjoying what uh, what we're doing here and just uh it's amazing we are last i checked like 40 ish people away from 10,000 subscribers and that's amazing that's mind blowing so thank you thank you thank you so much with that said let's get into opening some stuff uh let's start with this box here because let's you know what let's um let's make some space let's make some space because well, yeah, I, I didn't think this through all the way. Uh, I am, you know, I just kind of was like, let's open some stuff. I'm excited. So, you know, that's kind of the status quo. All right, in here we have a package from the wonderful company I will put up on the screen right now. They contacted to ask if I would like to review the V3.8 select fire kit and this has me so excited so excited um they contacted me and they said you know would you would you be interested in reviewing this and i i just i was like are you for real because because i saw videos i saw this kit and i was just like this thing is awesome what this does is awesome it looks so responsive and so fantastic i just I, I couldn't i couldn't not and, you know just <sighs> thank you so before i get too far into this light take thank you for sending this my way for review um i'm gonna be honest i um may not be ready to put this together this may be above my uh my knowledge level but I got a little excited and I was like, yeah, let's do it. I want to do this thing. So we're going to make a live stream out of this process. We're going to make a whole thing out of it. I'm going to do this live and uh, I'm going to fumble through it and learn with probably the help of everyone in chat. Because let's be real, I'm still very much learning uh, how to do all the things that are necessary in this hobby to... Uh, you know, create all the awesome mods and blasters that we want to. So that is that. That is something you can look forward to. It will be a live stream. I'm sure we'll archive it and post it up on the channel as well. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, if you want to watch that, that's something you can uh, certainly, certainly keep your eyes out for. All right, let's, while we're on the topic of companies and, 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 and whatnot, um, this is, I believe, my purchase from Lytake. I made a purchase a few weeks ago, last month, for, well, a few things. Let's, let's pop it open and uh, well, let's get into it. Figure why not stick with the same company. Whoop. All right. Oh, okay. This is not from Lytake. This is from uh, NF Strike. My apologies. This, I didn't realize this was coming in just yet. Um, all right, so this is from NF Strike. I actually plan on doing a whole separate video for this package, but it's Christmas, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna call it an extra Christmas present. Thanks, NF Strike. All right, so they sent a few things for me to take a look at. This is one that they said they were gonna throw in an ad, and I actually am kind of was kind of looking forward to this when they said, you know, oh, you want to review this little thing too? I know it's like just kind of a little. Thing, but it's just a target it's a pop-up target and I like I like targets I want to have targets that I can easily shoot it's just pops whoop. 
this should just pop right on here. Maybe requires a little more, there we go. Yeah, it snaps in or it breaks. Okay, um, if you can see that, but I definitely snapped the plastic there to get that in. Uh, so, maybe that was the wrong hole. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Because it's definitely, like you look at the, okay, you know what? I think I, I think they're supposed to go in a certain way. And I think I may have not, no, that's not going in super easy either. Okay, that one did, that one did go in. So that's, all right. Let's see about this one here. That one, okay, I just pushed too hard. I pushed too hard, I, I pushed one of the ribs that's supposed to hold it in place, I pushed that through the plastic. Um, so beware if you pick one of these up, that is an issue, but it's just one of those things that I just, I want targets. I want targets to have to, you know, be able to plink around and test things and, uh, you know, see how things react or, or, or act in terms of accuracy at certain ranges. And this, while a very small target for terms of nerf, it's still fun to have a target. So I'm gonna mess around with this, probably gonna get used in future videos as well. Um, let's put that to the side. Thank you for sending that my way. It will get used, it will be in videos, and I'm gonna have fun with that. Now, let's, let's pull these out. All right. So NF Strike actually sent me a few things. Originally, let's talk about this one first. Originally, they were going to send me three of these which I was very excited for. Uh, now I got one. They sent me three of the short dart versions of this clear, this transparent blue, lovely, lovely P-Mag that, oh, I just love the way this looks. It's so nice looking and it feels so good because it's a worker P-Mag. Um, I initially wanted to get three of these and they sent three of the short dart ones my way on accident instead of the, these ones, the full dart length. And uh, I was going to do some durability tests and see how much of a beating they can with they can withstand. I'm still going to do that um, before you know see how much of a beating they withstand before it takes. It's it's a bit of a teaser for some future videos. We're going to be delving into durability of some things. Uh, so yeah, this is one I'm super excited for this. Uh, I actually placed an order for a couple more of these. I wanted five total. Uh, now I'm going to have to order two more again to get that total five, but you know, it is what it is. I'm just, I'm just stoked that this is here and it feels, it doesn't feel necessarily weaker than some of the other magazines. Uh, as people sometimes have concerns that the colored or tinted plastic is not as strong or durable. Uh, so we're, we're going to find out, we're going to find out, but I'm excited about that. Now this is something else they wanted to send my way. It looks like they sent a couple my way. These are the new, I, I, I call them op magazines because if you played Counter-Strike and you've seen the new um, op kit that's been out on places like Lytake, this is essentially the magazine that goes with it. It's super sniper-like. It, it, it just, it looks like a sniper magazine, something you would see in a video game for like an AWP or uh, potentially like an M24, I think if you're playing um, uh, PUBG. Uh, but yeah, like it, it fits that look of that kit perfectly. So like if you get one of those kits, you wanna run one of these magazines. These are only 10 rounds though. That is the disappointing part is they are 10 dart magazines. Um, all right, so that is, that is what I got from NF Strike along with the target so thank you, NF Strike. There will be videos on these on the durability of the P mat or the uh, short dart versions of these, and we're gonna test these out. Uh, these are actually like, these are fairly small, honestly. These are actually pretty small. So for ten darts, if you want to run a really small kind of loadout, this these actually may not be the worst thing, but we'll 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 look into that in another video, I think. All right, let's, let's keep moving on. 
Let's go with this one here. This comes from uh, Foam Data Services, Tom, over in the UK. I'm, I, you know, I don't want to cut myself with these with this dull knife. I'm just going to get these scissors out and just cut instead here because uh, it sounds better than stabbing myself today. It's not exactly the kind of Christmas you want to have. Oh, baby, here we go. <gasps> he sent up. Oh, oh, oh. All right, first off, I was about to purchase, uh, I, I was really interested in the Bulldog flywheels. Uh, they were super interesting and was, was, was excited for them. Um, so Tom reached out and he said, I have some extras. I, you know, do you want to test them? Because I can send them your way. And I said, yeah, definitely. So the comparison has been the hooligan wheels are kind of like the bulldog wheels. And, you know, it's a little blown. Let me see if I can get this to properly. I can, I can kind of see that. Definitely appears to be some similarities. Um, they're not exactly the same. But I am very curious to get these in a blaster and see how they perform. Uh, I already have a cage set aside for them, I believe. So I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, Tom. Um, and we got a Brit Nerf patch. Oh, baby, going up on the board. That's what I was super excited about. So if you want to pick up some, uh, some Bulldog flywheels, these actually feel lighter to me. These feel lighter than the hooligan wheels. I don't have the exact numbers on hand. I think I talked about it in one of the videos, but uh, yeah, uknerf4.com if you want to get yourself a pair. Again, these will go in a blaster, and when they do, we will talk about them more. Uh, excited for those. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna keep this out because I gotta. I gotta. I gotta put that up on the patch board. Two packages left. This one is a purchase I made from out of darts there's there you go now you know out of darts and this has some goodies that i am very excited for all right we got in here okay well can you take a guess at what is in this bag judging by the fact that i am holding it by a bag of screws and it's attached I wonder what is in here. I picked up some extra screws because I have a, a tendency to strip some of my screws, which is not a good thing. So uh, yeah, I picked up some replacements. And all right, so here's a couple pieces that I'm excited for. These are the Strife switch mount plates. So you put these in your Strife and you can mount like a 21 amp micro switch in there and it just holds it in place nice and neat and tidy and that excites me because I like when things fit properly. That's why I love Legos. Um, I just, I love uh, that whole, like when things fit properly, that, that makes me happy. And there we go. Oh, that nice red. Oof. Oh, that is, okay. Those magnets are not joking around. Um, like I've seen people hold things up, but like that jumped out of my hand to go attach. Ooh, those cans are nice. I love the windows. That is, I love the way those windows look in there. All right, we got that. I picked up some other stuff. There we go. Bam, another patch. Mmm, I love myself some patches. So good, so good. Uh, and then did I get, all right. Picked up, there we go. That's the other part of this order. Oh, those are so light. The Insta uh, Instanto flywheels from Out of Darts and Containment Crew. Those are so light. Those are so light. It's ridiculous. Uh, again, I have a flywheel cage picked out for these and ready to go. So uh, I am excited. Uh, this is going to go in a containment cage that is 42 millimeters in terms of spacing. And these motors are going to go in there. So we're going to test and see. One of the concerns people were having was that these are going to be so light that they're going to drop off in terms of sag between shots. And uh, they won't have the inertia that heavier motors will. We're going to find out if any of that even matters with the Neo uh, Rhinos. 
Now, obviously, these are focused more towards HVZ players, and they might not be running things like Neo Rhinos. They may want to run things like regular Rhinos or Michelles, and these are great for those. And you don't generally need the highest rate of fire in HVZ, which is why they targeted that audience for the lighter wheels. But regardless, I am excited about these. I love, I love new technology and new things people try to do. Let's put those with those. And then... Out of darts, being the wonderful guy he is, decided, ah, bam, out of darts shirt. I am so excited to wear this. I want to start collecting big, like company shirts and YouTuber shirts and all of that so I can wear them during Nerf News episodes. I so, so want that. I am super excited um, to start this collection. So thank you, out of darts. This, this does feel, you know, I keep hearing these shirts are really comfortable and just holding it. Yeah, it's really comfortable. I can, I can already tell. I am looking forward to wearing that. Let's, uh, let's see. How can we keep all of these goodies in frame? There's just so much. There's just so much. All right. Our last item. Let's do it. I saved this one for last because this is the first package we got in the P.O. Box. There's the P.O. Box address right there. This comes to us from Edmund Cintron. I know what is in this because Edmund reached out and uh, asked if there was a certain something I would like to test or, uh, or take a look at. And I was very excited when he told me. Now, I just would like to... Okay, why do I keep using this knife? I need to get... Look at this knife. It is so dirty and nasty. I need to get this cleaned and sharpened. Like, it's just, it's just disrespectful of that knife, the way... I have uh, let it decay. Uh, but yeah, let's get this open with some scissors. I do have to say, using the card box for shipping makes me a little bit happy because I am a card player. I love myself some Magic the Gathering, and I've played a few other card games as well. How do I open? Okay, there we go. He looks like he, looks like he took the flap off that's normally the closure that would be somewhere around here. Just rip. Let's just start ripping it open now. Because. Uh, yeah. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I may have to use the knife. Uh, there is now a, an address exposed, so I'm going to pull this off camera for just a second. Apologies about that, but I don't want this person's address to be exposed. Oh, they packaged this. They packaged this good. Oh, all right, we have a letter. Let's read. If I can open it. Hello, Jangular. Hope you're having a happy holiday season. I love your videos as it's higher quality than most of the YouTubers. Nerf, that is very kind, but there are so many good quality nerf youtubers out there it makes me really happy in the package is four katana mag holders of my own design i hope they work well for you unfortunately i didn't like any of the blue ones i had printed in terms of print quality so you're stuck with red i am not going to complain about that uh they are a butterfly set as my original design did not allow two to fit next to each other they should work with narrow base attachment bars and my own design two of each are included with the mag holders Thinking $8 USD for the, for the mag holder and attachment bar, and I'd probably release the design on Thingiverse at some point. Any questions or inquiries people have can be directed at my email, edmundcintron at gmail.com, or people can message me on Facebook. Keep producing great content. Happy holidays, Edmund Cintron. Edmund, thank you so much. People, if you want to get in contact, let's take a look at these. The address will be right there. We'll leave that off to the side. Uh, thank you so much for the kind words. Really, I... I, I do not deserve or but i do appreciate the kind words Ooh, baby all right we got one we got two these feel these feel sturdy okay he must be printing with a high infill because those feel dense all right so we've got uh the nmag bar and then we've got two of his own design so let's find some molly and let's test them out. 
first off though, let's actually test and see how it fits with All right, that's, it comes out easily enough, but it's not, I'm not like, I'm not squeezing. That's initial thoughts is I'm, I'm fairly, uh, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty pleased. That's. All right, how does it do with a dart inside? Let's pop a dart in there and pop. So, all right, so it covers enough of the dart that the dart's not gonna fall out. It's not, I mean, it probably wouldn't anyways with the feed lips there, but uh, it is occasionally an issue with the narrow base stuff with full size mags. This does not look like it's gonna have that issue. Pulls out, dart stays in. The initial thing that I'm seeing as potentially an issue is as I'm going in like this, I'm not at the right angle and it's catching the sides right here. If I go into the right angle, there's no problem, none at all. But if I try and go in an angle, that's, that's catching it. So I don't know if, I don't know if slightly wider lips here would solve that, but I'm guessing you have it like this. So the feed lip here can go through unobstructed uh, and not be kind of closed or pressured, but I don't know. I'm listen. That sounds solid. The infill must be pretty high on these. I initial like my initial reaction on these is is I like them. Um, I just need to find some Molly piece of something somewhere. All right, I've got a dump pouch but it works. It's got Molly on it. We got a Blaster Smith UK dump pouch. Let's use the NMAG bar here. That goes through. We'll do a whole video on these once I get to test them, but I'm just super curious and this is already a long video. So we're going to, we're going to, we're going to explore some things. Goes in. Am I catching on something? I may be catching on the molly webbing. I think I am. Well, let's see. Is this going through? Yeah, it's going through. Okay, so I am catching on the molly webbing somewhere in here. That's that. See, whenever you try and do something on camera for people to demonstrate, that's when things get way harder and the simple tasks are no longer simple. Okay, now it's going through. There we go. Yeah, that's... that's That seems in there to me. That seems good. Now let's try one of his. Go in. And under. And back in. Again, we have the same problem. So user error, not product error at the moment. Okay, it's causing, I see what's happening. It's causing the, there we go. The bulk of the fabric was causing an issue. Uh, yeah, that's, that's more than you're gonna do when you're running around at a game. Uh, I'm pretty happy with these at first glance. I'm pretty happy. Edmund, uh, I think $8 is a very reasonable price. I think that's a very reasonable price. I don't know what you would make in terms of profit on them at $8, but I think I would pay $8 for one of these. Um, let me know what you guys think about these in terms of you know what you would pay, what you think about you know Katana mag holders if you're running them. That line up nice four right there. I'm pretty pleased with these. Man, this was, this is a lot of stuff. All right, if, if you all made it through this long of this video of me just having a grand old time opening stuff and, and yapping on, thank you so much. I know at the beginning I said thank you for everything. I just wanna say it again. I, again, 
if you're having whatever holiday you're celebrating, I hope you enjoyed it. Spend time with the people that are important to you and uh, enjoy, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your hobbies. Just uh, have fun, you know? Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it more than I can put into words. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this rather long unboxing and kind of just leisurely enjoyment video. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and cut it there. Thank you so much again, every single one of you. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.